Okay, in Logger Pro, first thing you want to do is insert your movie. You look for downloads, wherever you downloaded it to, insert the movie. And we're going to go down here to this little red button that shows us more statistics here. You can actually go down here to the corner and make it bigger. Then we want to set our origin here. Where the zero, 0 is isn't that critical, but what's more important is that you take this little yellow dot here, and if I move this around, I want it to be straight in line with the ramp. So see how there now it's right along with the ramp? So you do that, and then we want to add some points. Okay. Okay, so there. Um, here's the first point at which I really know the cars are moving, so I'm not sure if the one before would really be zero. So let's now, if I click, and if it doesn't advance, you have to advance it. It's supposed to advance, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be. And you'll notice in the background now we are getting the video form. I'm going to stop there. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to add a second set here. So we're going to back it up to right there. So that's the first frame I clicked on. So now I go to this button here that says Set Active Point, and I want to add a new point series. So now when I click on here, I should get a different color. And again, unfortunately, And as soon as you reach the end of your points on your first car, you don't need to add more on your second car. So notice I don't have a point there, so I'm going to say I am done. Last thing we want to do, which they asked us to do earlier, is set your scale. So we click on the set scale here, and you pick something you know. We said the carts were 17 centimeters wide, so I can click on that. And I'm going to get a little window that pops up and says, how far is that? Oh, it's 0.17 meters. And then we're done. Oh, the next step. Okay, now we can go back and add center of mass. So I'm going to go here, center of mass series. And it just tells you the two of them. And we know that the first one we did was half a kilogram. And the second one was a kilogram and make sure our units are right. And now we can make this guy small. And we can see that our center of mass there. So if we go over here, let's see what we want to see on the y-axis. We don't want to see y, because we're only paying attention to the x's. And we want to see center of mass in the x direction. And if I click OK, we should see there's uh, car one, here's car two, and there's the center of mass, stayed about the same place. 